We're in the middle of a huge battle with several Jap carrier groups. Pearl Harbor was bad, but if we lose here at Midway, then the war is over for us. We've been taking regular assaults from enemy plane groups, so it's time to strike back. We need your wing to get out there and target the Japanese carriers. Each flat top you send to the bottom takes a hundred enemy planes off our backs. Lieutenant Commander Callahan will assign wings where they will do the most good. Good luck, Lieutenant. Our prayers go with you. Right, crew, you Avengers and Able Wing, your target today is the Akagi. I need you to go in low with your torpedo runs. Let's make one thing perfectly clear. There will be enemy fighters. Focus on getting your fish lined up with that carrier. We can't afford to waste any time sending her to the bottom. Yo. All wings, form up and head for the enemy fleet. This is Ox, George Wing. Where do you want my fighters, sir? Send a wing with each of the bomber squadrons, Ox. And make sure they check their targets before firing. We can't afford to shoot down any of our own today. All right, y'all. While we're flying to the thing, this is Yusef for Dad's Free Time Let's Plays, getting it in. Now hear this. All planes fire at will, but do not drop your bomb loads. We don't want to let these bastards through to our fleet, but we also need that ordinance. From the uh, mission briefing, this sounded like... Sounded like it was when aircraft carrier gets four. Somehow we're supposed to knock him out. I wonder if that's historically accurate. If we just went one aircraft carrier to the other ones. This is Dogwing, starting our attack on the Baker Wing. Those poor bastards. Crow, unfortunately, it's your turn in the ring. We'll try and cover you as much as we can. Crow, take out those destroyers so we can have a clear run at the Akagi. This is Callahan. All fighters, move to intercept the incoming Zeros. So that guy dies, and then they're asking me to take his place to protect the bombers, but then they're just like, well, you know what, go ahead and blow those ships up. Is that how it works? I'm a little confused. Anyway. Tojo's thick as flies around these carriers. You just watch that itchy trigger finger of yours, Stuart. Stuart didn't sound like a guy who shoots, like, Shoots like lunatics. Take his flies around these areas. We gonna be in a whole heap of trouble. Alright, the crappy thing about these um dropping the torpedoes and stuff is I gotta line the aircraft carrier up, you know, to hit them. Um, so I gotta take into account how fast the aircraft carrier is going while I'm moving towards it. Drop the torpedo at an angle so it all meets together. Uh, my best idea is to just kind of go from a back angle or, or a front angle in order for my torpedo to have more of a chance to meet up with it since they're on the collision course. Like going opposite directions as opposed to trying to hit it from like a 30 degree angle from far away. Anyway, uh, yeah, the regular aircraft carriers aren't so strongly made. <laughs>
squad. Torpedo away! Fish on target. I'm taking the beat! Yeah, take that. Time to reload. Yesterday at 0342 hours, the U.S. submarine Tambor surprised the cruiser Mogambi, forcing her into a collision with her sister ship, the Mikuma. This collision buckled the Mogambi's bow and breached the Mikuma's fuel tanks. The two cruisers are limping from the area, but we have different plans. It's time to get some payback for what happened to the Yorktown. Our scouts have spent the last several hours searching for the damaged vessels, and we finally think we have a good fix on their position. You are to quickly scramble from the Enterprise and join your squadron in an attack on the Makuma. They just sent me. Uh, I hope they sent my boys with me, but it seemed like they just sent me all by myself. Pro, defeat them by yourself, all five of them. Like, really? Thanks, thanks, coach. Anyway, we're we're uh, ready to take out the these uh, aircraft carriers. I like how they say in the briefing that they're fairly certain of the position. Like, um, this is an endless sea. You might want to fucking... Attack my target. Like, you might want to fucking know... Oh, I do have a wing. It's like, you might you might want to fucking know where, where the thing is. Come on. Thanks, pal. Those damn Japs nearly had us that time. Not with me around. Anyway, at least I get to do a mission... I like flying upside down, by the way. Look look at me doing do a barrel roll. Um at least at least I get to fly the fighter plane, you know. I know they like to shake it up by giving you more cumbersome planes, but the dogfight's where it's at. Enemy fighters coming in fast, George Wing. I want you to push ahead and make bombing runs on both the cruisers before they launch deck planes. We'll try and draw off the fighters here. Sounds like a plan. We won't last five seconds out there against that AA fire. We need support. Hell, Ox, I know it's tough, but get on with your orders, Airmen. If those ships go to flight stations, we'll have a lot more opposition out here. 
All right, Dad. Literally a couple of minutes ago, that dude Ox was like, yo, we'll get torn up. We'll get torn to shreds if you make us do this. And they're like, yep, <laughs> go on and do this shit, bruh. <laughs> and then he dies. Ah, oh, it sucks. Man, I mean, he was the worst voice actor, but he did sound like one of my real friends, you know. <laughs> He's like, a, well, a cross between one of my real friends and Boomhauer. It's like, oh, oh, sir. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go in there and I'm gonna ride this bitch in. I'm dying right now. Eat this, Tojo. Like, you so, totally bad at, <laughs> bad at acting, but good voice. Good voice.
dot formation. Roger that. Break formation. Roger that.
It's at this point, I wish there was a flip around button, you know, instead of me having to go out and rocket attack. turn around this position, men. and the go out. Formation. Also, my wingmen are formation. pretty much useless. Number one, I don't me, really boys. see them. So they must up, be people. flying in formation really well. They're not even on the radar. And number two, number two, it's like once I sick them on something, they don't really do anything, right? They're just kind of... They're just kind of like, um, oh no, Woo. that was close. They don't really do anything. Like I, I sick them onto the target and, and my aircraft's been upgraded to hell. Like, uh, that's why I'm using this one and not one of the newer ones. And it's more maneuverable, which I like, but it's like, um, what about my guys? Like, can I upgrade their stuff, you know? and get them stronger weapons and stuff so they can help me out. So that would be better because they give you a wing. They make it seem like it's a great honor, but then they don't help me hook up my guys. Like I'm earning the EXP here. My guys, like I would like to soup up one aircraft and then like give, give my wing extra so they can help me out. That would make harder, harder um, things a little bit easier. You know what I mean? But for some reason, it doesn't let you do that. You know, it doesn't let you have control over your wing and what kind of stuff they do. They kill, like, normal people when you tell them to attack. Oh, you're straying too far. Because they'll let you know who they kill. They'll go, take that, Tojo. You know, after they kill a guy. This is my, uh... Pretty soon I figure out that the technique here is to fire the machine guns while I'm firing the missiles so I can do more damage. Oh, I'm getting eight there. So I can do more damage, you know? That's the, uh, that's the plan anyway. Um, yeah. So I get lined up once the reticle turns red, then, then I, uh, give them the, uh, those things plus the machine guns. Cause I was getting really tired of making passes with just the. See, beyond range. It's like whatever. Cause I'm not. I wasn't. I'm not very accurate with the missiles. So I can't lock in on the missiles or anything like that which would be nice but i understand why they would let you do that uh maybe it wasn't a thing back then but you know if i get an unlimited supply of eight then i can just load in with them on every pass after i uh use the time it takes to reload that's also a stat that you can increase by the way but yeah, back to what I was originally saying. Yeah, it ticks me off to give you a wing and then you barely even know who the people are in your wing and they should let you know. They should give you like some element of, of uh, being able to have an effect on them. You know, that would have made the game a lot cooler and it wouldn't have cost too much on their end. You know what I mean? To just tell the wing, like give the wing an AI, which they already have and and have them like have you be personal with them give them names that you'll be able to choose them they'll have uh different voices because the voice acting is bad they could probably just pick up anybody paying 20 bucks to do the lines <laughs> you know what i mean and just get moving i have one guy do like all the lines that seems to be what they're doing right now he's picking up people from the dam it's just the leading out the developers the producers are leaning out the window and going, pick one of the devs to do the, the lines. That's fine. Anyway, they don't let us do that, so every mission seems about the same. You don't get the satisfaction of bringing your guys along with you. They could have, um, they could also uh, interweave the guys into the story, right? You know, that would be pretty cool. But, um, because you would, you know, they could just have one guy who's your wingman you know, all the time, and then 
somehow make make you guys being together part of the troop, you know, then then everybody's deaths would be different. As far as it's concerned, uh -oh. as far as this concerned, they uh, kind of just make uh, Crow, even though he's got a group of guys that fly with him, they kind of just make him singular in the story, and, and yeah, that's kind of when they fail. They barely give the names to those guys, too. Oh, here we go. We need one more pass, I think. But yeah, those, the, those are my critiques of the game, since I'm not going to do any plot summaries or anything. What would be dope is if they started you back in the wing and you had to take orders from this other guy and all your people would die eventually putting you at the front instead of you doing one really cool thing and the guy saying, I'd like you to fly for me and then putting you ahead. You know what I mean? That would be a really good idea. You're in the back of the wing and you're flying and the other guys are flying and you're just doing what the guy asks you to gets taken out of the formation and <laughs> you end up moving up and up and up. Yeah, that would be an awesome idea. Anyway.
Oh man, that's gonna be tough. Oh, we got one more pass on him. Oh, uh -huh. how come this be happening? I like how that one dude was like, I'll, I'll come by with you, but I'm low on ammo. Yeah, uh, somebody else come with me. He's like, nah, I got it. <laughs> it's like, really, fam? You got this all by yourself, huh? It had a wing, and then it's like, you go back by yourself. Uh, can I radio back once I'm in the dog fight, and then you guys just come and beat him? Anyway, I mean, I guess the boss is a boss. You gotta defeat the boss by yourself. The wing wasn't doing shit anyway. Let's be real. The Battle of Midway was a huge victory for us, but the Jap ambush took the edge off any satisfaction we might have felt. There was no way it was a coincidence that a whole Jap squadron found us all alone out there. Someone had to have told them where and when we were patrolling. Somehow, the Japs who'd found us were from the 13th Squadron. I'd splash Kato Fujiwara, another of their aces. Callahan and I went and talked to the Admiral. We told him about the ambush and the earlier sabotage to my Corsair as well. He listened closely. We were making some pretty serious claims. Sabotage was one thing. It could just be a little professional rivalry for top place on the kills board. But the ambush, well, that's an act of treason, punishable by death. The boys were jumpy. News of the ambush had spread, and now there were rumors of a rat in the ranks. 